call line live. How about she my shy about she my cocker dash? I want to give double honor to the positive Z Mr. Rule and teach me on some of all you brothers and sisters that's out there doing this work <clears throat> to wake up the hopeful elect being on fire free. How about she my shy? Um, <clears throat> and bringing out the truth, man. All right, um, so this little article that I was looking at on press TV dot, dot com. All right, it's another good news, uh, uh, a news alternative, um, application or website. All right. Talks about unjustifiable U.S. wars worldwide to blame for rising su military suicide, suicides. All right, so it goes into a lot talking about how America uh, establishes itself, man. All right, how Esau Edom, all right, goes around and establishing his democracy, his philosophies, all right, on the world. <clears throat> All right, a former U.S. military officer tells Press TV that rising suicide rates in the U.S. military mainly stem from trauma and injuries suffered by the soldiers in the unjustifiable wars America waged around the world you, under the guise of fighting terrorism. All right, so the biggest terrorist is Esau Edom, man, the so called white man. All right, mm -hmm. um, I'm laughing because this shit is funny, man, because uh, this, this shit is funny because. You know, people aren't reading these type of articles, man, all right? They're not seeing these type of articles. And, uh, you know, just through the spirit and power of your how about your mouth shy, it's going to shine some light on America, man, all right? On the devil. All right, the whore of Babylon. All right, data released by Pentagon on Thursday released, revealed that military suicide surged this year to a record high among active duty troops, the Navy, Marine. The Navy, the Army, the Navy, and Marine Corps all saw the rate of suicides go up as well as overall numbers. <clears throat> the, the figures revealed commenting on the revelation, Scott uh, Bennett, Bennett, a former U.S. military psychological off warfare officer, said on Press TV's news, the debate showed that U.S. soldiers take their own lives because the very coercive policies in the U.S. military make them un unable to cope with reality. All right. Do you, you can, you know, look up the kind of policies that the United States of America has, man, let alone just the policies that they have on their soldiers, man. <clears throat> Americans, who, Americans who joined the United States military to serve and protect their country to feel like they're doing a noble, heroic Captain American sort of service, find out the U.S. military's reality is something else, according to Bennett. <clears throat> Bennett said himself he joined the military after 2011, all right, attacks the 2011, uh, 2001 attacks to defend the United States against terrorism. All right, this is what he said, all right, this is what news article said that he found out the former intelligence officer said when he entered the nine the military he found out that 9 11 attacks were false flag operations planned and executed by america and israeli okay israeli those fake jews okay all right elements as a pretext to launch the so-called u.s war on terror all right the united states war on terror all right <clears throat> When the uh, United States is the biggest terrorist, man, they go around implementing their democracy, all right? Implementing what they want, all right? they There's some stuff going on over there now. These people in Iraq, man, they going crazy because uh, the United States is over there messing up their economy, messing up they, uh, the way they live, man, with wars, man. Wars on nothing, man, just to get oil, okay? Which he said was, in a reality, a plot. To conquer the globe. Look at that. Esau Edom. He can't stay at home, man. I, I don't know what scripture that is, but if somebody finds it, please post it on the comment board, man. He's too proud to stay at home. All right. Um, Bennett added, the more military personnel are gradually discovering the truth, seeing themselves as fighting an unjustifiable war, killing women and children, while their own family institutions are failing at home falling apart at home and look man this is all set up to divide the family okay they tell you yeah they give you all these good benefits all right but then you got to go overseas and fight the war but meanwhile you know uh 
um, Jody, he running up in your wife and uh, <clears throat> smashing your wife while you over there across the sea trying to play Captain America for a country that don't care no fucks about you, man. All right. And somebody's probably, you know, molesting your daughter while you over there at work or whatever, man. All right. Because that's how sick America is. Washington initiated the so-called war on terror with the intention of capturing the world and achieving global hegemony at the expense of U.S. soldiers' lives and the analysts adding that the many soldiers have been disillusioned <laughs> and finding out this fact. All right, yeah, man. <laughs> these, these white people don't care about you soldiers, man. Um, <clears throat> there's a bunch of like articles on that, man. All right. Uh, the reality in the service is quite different than what the fantasy is. All right. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of boredom, very poor officers. The leadership in the military is a shadow of what was once a you and you now have a very co have very coercive policies in the U.S. military that contradict any moral identity. <clears throat> Bennett also cited an alarming rise in drug abuse among U.S. military personnel as other reasons for the soaring number of suicides among soldiers who failed to cope with the <clears throat> morale identity crisis, poverty, and traumatic experiences in the war abroad. Okay, all right, there's a war abroad and there's a war here. On the on U.S. soil, man. All right, there's a war against you, so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, man. And you know, as a way out, you know, we think that we could join this this white man's army, but there is no way out, man. All you doing is setting yourself up to go to the land of Jehovah, Yahweh Shapat, man. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so if you're in the military, you need to get out. All right, or work on your way to getting out. All right, and setting yourself up with so with a so-called decent job to take care of your family, he said. Soldiers try to resolve their moral confusion and depression by taking antidepressant drugs and sleeping pills, but they eventually come, become addicted to the drugs, and these soldiers become so depressed they kill themselves. All right, look, man, Esau don't care about you, man. That's all he's doing, man. He's, he's, he got you as uh, cattle, man. All right, you expendable. All right, give you some antidepressant drugs and you go buy some and then, you know, you get addicted to them and they ain't working no more. So you just kill yourself. In turn, Julian Boykin, founder of the Young Republicans of Southern Maryland, who was also joining the show, said the soldiers' separation from their families and a lack of proper training aimed at facilitating their psychological recovery on their return to their homes where the main reason for soaring, soaring suicide for soaring rate of suicide. He added that <clears throat> he added, you look at the realities versus what they are told. If the truth got out about what's going on, you would have a lot more people skeptical about joining the military. Don't join me. All right. For you young, so-called Negro, Latinos, Native American Indians, man. Don't join this army, man. All right. <clears throat> you see, unjustifiable war leads to suicide. All right. Unjustifiable war leads to suicide. It says, so here, let's go read a comment. Who are the terrorists? These U.S. government mercenaries slaughter men, women, and children in foreign countries and commit suicide after realizing themselves they are the terrorists. I, look at that, man. Why suicide? Okay. U.S. military is a terrorist army for Satan. Who can who can live with that? Look, man, that, that guy knows who uh, the devil is. All right. Just, uh, you know, just be aware of what you're doing. Uh, so I want to give all praise to you. How about Shema? Shah about Shema Conquer Dash. Double honor to the apostle of Jesus. We rule and teach well. And Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there doing this work in all honesty and sincerity. Kwam Yashirala and the Baba Ball.